Morning coverage continues right now with CBS 46's Adam Harding. He is at Grady Memorial Hospital where the students are recovering. Adam, you talked to a man who actually was really courageous and helped one of these students. Karen, it really is a remarkable story. Derek Daniels tells me he does not consider himself a hero, but this noon, a whole lot of people do. He rushed in when he heard those gunshots to help save some of the students who had been hit by the bullets. They are now recovering at the hospital and many are calling his actions heroic. I always want to help people. I mean, sometimes I guess that can get me in trouble. But. Sophomore Derek Daniels was at Tuesday's block party near Clark Atlanta University when he heard the gunshots. I guess some guys got into it, some type of altercation, and then the shots just rang out and then everybody scattered. But me, being the person that I am, I'm just looking, trying to make sure all my friends are good. We kind of ran and then made sure everybody that we were, we were okay. It was just kind of like kind of crazy. Daniels, who grew up in Chicago, tells me he's all too familiar with gun violence. He didn't hesitate to help some of the students shot. I was running and then once I saw that everybody was OK, I took off my shirt to help the young lady that was that had got shot because I mean, nobody else was kind of really helping. Her friends were there, but I mean, I know that you're supposed to really compress wounds when you get shot. So I took off my shirt and I told her to tie it around her leg. He likely saved a life the night before the school year began. School campuses are a, a sacred place and a safe place. We heard uh, some gunshots go about five or six. And then so uh, we got up and looked out the window and we saw everybody running in opposite directions. The chaos on campus still under investigation. The four students injured were taken to Grady Memorial Hospital. They are all expected to survive. Our young black women are the people that we're supposed to protect. You know what I'm saying? So that's why kind of my heart was kind of going out to them because I didn't know what you was going on. think yourself as a hero? I don't know. I don't think myself as a hero, man. I'm just doing what I can do. But so many do consider his actions heroic. Derek is a hero in the eyes of so many today. We should tell you that according to investigators, it appears that this shooting started with two groups of people who started firing at each other. And late this morning, we confirmed that those four women who were hit, ranging in age between 17 and 19, were not the intended targets, according to investigators. Innocent bystanders caught up in the crosshairs in the crossfire of these gunshots near the Clark Atlanta University campus. Of course, we'll continue our team coverage on this shooting throughout the day and we'll bring you the very latest. But again, no arrests have been made. The investigation this noon continues. That is the very latest from outside of Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta. I'm Adam Harding, CBS 46 News. All right, Adam, thank you so much.